All right, what's up, y'all? It's Nick Fan here. Now, today, I'm here to tell you, and I know a lot of people who are watching this video are probably thinking like, yo, just like right now. Listen, <laughs> I don't mean to hate on your favorite badge, but I just believe that this badge is quite overrated. And as you can see, I unlocked a badge point since I last played, but I haven't touched anything just to make sure that I could let you guys know I don't have this badge equipped in the games that you're going to see. Now, as you can see, I'm on a... Actually, I guess you can't really see yet. Okay, so basically, I'm on a pure lock, two-way finisher. As you can see, I got 92 driving dunk, 78 driving layup, 83 standing layup with 60 standing dunk. So, and then I only have like 73 ball handle. My speed is off the charts though. But anyway, moving along, all I'm saying is fancy footwork is not equipped in this game and I have everything that you see stock right here. And we'll just make a cut in the vid. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. We were, I was on a 10 streak with this build, like this exact same build that we're working with right here. And I just beat a post score, <laughs> the, like literally the game before. And so the game after that one is when we ran into this guy right here, which is the three and D guard. Now I'll let you see the intros, but I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Cause I got, I got like two or three gameplays to show you of this. So I just want to make sure that we can get everything all fit in in a solid amount of time. But anyway, like I said, I'll show you the intros just to let you know what we're working against. Lockdown takeover with 3 and D guard, superstar 1, shooting guard, 97 overall, and then obviously you know I'm working with the two-way finisher at point guard, SS2. Now, I'm going to skip past a little bit of stuff right here because I wasn't exactly doing the hops early on, and I just want to show you, I want to make sure I epitomize everything in this video to the, to the best ability. Now, real quick, I'm just going to show starting right here. Okay, so I, I had a couple little tweak layups and stuff, but anyway, six seconds on the shot clock, I was getting my stamina back, boom. Go for the hop. He's going for the steal. Now, keep in mind, he's going to adjust to everything that I'm doing here as well. But now I'm going with these triple threats. This triple threat stuff is OP too. I might have to even make a video on that as well. But I get the hop dunk into the contact dunk. Now, what exactly was the purpose of this video is that I don't think that fancy footwork is really the end all be all of literally just functioning like this i just feel like and there's gonna be a little bit more fast forwarding as well i, I think i tweak out one more time as well but um i just don't th oh yeah it's this right here okay <laughs> y'all don't get to see that but anyway we get the ball back now we're all good from here i don't think fancy footwork is really what makes these hop dunks so op i just think it's literally the function in the game itself it's like uh if i had a good comparison for it i'd say it's like break starter fat like outlet passes are op this year it's not break starter itself you see i get the contact dunk with fan with no fancy footwork equipped on a pure lockdown with 78 like driving layup bro or wait actually yeah yeah i have like 78 driving layup bro and honestly i can't wait till i get the crawford layups on this dude too because um one thing about this build that i don't have about my regular build is that i don't have i do have jamal crawford layups activated on my my main and that might be something bad to have when you're because it's good for being fancy and all that but it's not exactly the best function when it comes to these hop dunks like you can see what i'm working with when i have this with this this player right here is i'm literally just boom trying to get past him and at this point he was just playing too far out to the point where doing a hop wouldn't have made any sense to do so don't be wrong you shouldn't spam these but when they're in a situation like like that right there where they're playing pretty pretty high but not like uh low enough for you to get a contact dunk that's the perfect time to do it i would say now again i'm working these little triple threats again we we trying to get a little fancy with it though where i'd get this little you know and boom we get another contact dunk this is all on a on a lockdown defender mind you 11 for 13 by mainly doing all hop dunks and the only one i missed one shot that i didn't try to go for a hop dunk and i don't even think the other shot that i missed was a jump shot as well but anyway moving along we're gonna we're gonna get to this other gameplay too so it was this one right here i believe yeah so this one against another guard too i was gonna show you the third one and maybe i'll still do that but the third one i used in my video yesterday as well against a big man i guess yeah i'll show that at the end if you guys want to stick around and watch what happens when you try to do the hop hops against a big but anyway regardless we're going against a 99 offensive threat this game now this guy gets the ball back as well so understand there's going to be some fast forwarding and some cuts in this but I just want you guys to see the function of these hop dunks and how insane they are. Now, you see, boom, we, we just get kind of past him on that. It was more of like a like a jump stop layup, if you will. It wasn't exactly like, because even if I followed through with trying to dunk off of it, it wouldn't have 
it wouldn't have just gone up with the dunk right away now you see i'm out here these triple threat moves be going so quick bro but anyway i try to i try to finesse this dude down low i'm out here tweaking listen i'm not good all right <laughs> but anyway long story short he puts up some bs layup um now i'm just kicking it back out to the top now we're looking it's the same thing we're still looking for these hop dunks constantly especially when he's playing that high bro every time i'm going for that and what it does essentially too is the 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 contest percent is like so much lowered when you do these as well now it's not i'm not completely saying that fancy footwork is like a horrible badge i'm just saying it's not useful because you can still function so well doing these hop dunks and hop lays without it now if this is something that you feel because of the hop layups and hop dunks being so op that you're gonna do it so much then i suppose you could put it on but listen all i'm saying is i mean it's it's completely functional and honestly in my opinion just as good not having it on at all but again you see crazy hop dunk it, it, i don't understand what case you could make for it that it's like so good because i you know you would think the badge means that you literally just get past people easier but bro like i just i just slid by him by like literally 10 feet on a hop dunk of having literally no, like nothing like no fancy footwork at all now this dude's playing super high I'm going for the hop again now normally if he's playing low now don't be wrong there's no there's no need to do a hop dunk if the dude's literally just camping in the paint if you now it depends what build you have as well because and you see he's just playing super super high again i'm trying to hop past him if you have a if you have a build that can't really dunk the best then maybe i would suggest to just constantly spam these but you see i'm again i'm out here tweaking listen i'm like i said i'm not good at this game all right i just i just have a build that's very good at slashing i'm, I'm playing I, I don't mean that seriously but i do mean it a little bit where and you see i just go for the contact dunk again because he's sitting so low um long story short and i'll i'll throw i'll show this uh third vid as well this dude was sauce me up a little bit i'm not gonna lie but honestly and that's been my biggest that's been my biggest struggle is guarding these uh these guards that have like such versatile offense i would rather play these bigs who just constantly have to go to the paint but anyway see puts up some floater and then we're working it back out to the top again this move right here honestly bro don't sleep that even though i didn't get anything open off of it that little backward spin or backward half spin into the hezzy bro i love that move so much but anyway another hop for no reason at all really but i mean honestly it's just because i know he's gonna try to jump and when when you have them in that situation and you know they're gonna try to jump those hop dunks go up so quickly enough to the point where it's just like, you know, and again, boom, you do it again. Honestly, another case to be made for it is that right there that you draw more fouls as well, even if they do have you contested so well. So, I mean, that was perfect defense by him right there, but there was absolutely nothing he can do about it. Now, again, I'm just, I'm just jumping so far away. Again, I just don't know what case you can make for fancy footwork because look at, look at my like dude. So I'm gonna show, boom, this is where I take off from, right? I'm like outside the white lines. Now I end up literally in the middle of the paint i mean it's it's an insane bounce that you can have even without any fancy footwork now anyway we're gonna cut to the uh we're gonna cut to the very last one so we got the big man gameplay here now like i said in the other clips as well i'm gonna be fast forwarding a decent amount here now what i would and we might as well make this dude a meme on the channel bro i don't know how xbox let this dude get this gamer tag and in the first place I feel kind of bad for him because I put him on my channel two days in a row and like I said I feel like this dude's gonna turn into a meme on the channel but anyway we got the two-way finisher obviously you guys know the deal uh we'll just like I said there's gonna be a solid amount of fast forwards here but right here we're working these <laughs> bro these this triple threat is hilarious too but um I want to I want to explain this a little bit I apologize for all the fast forwards and stuff or you know rewinds fast forwards yada yada but look at look at how uh I'm a Put it right here look at how he has me bodied up and i'm and i have a cold zone too in this spot too which is even more insane but anyway look at how look at how he has me bodied up and now look in the top right and see what that what that got for a contest tell me tell me there's any function for fancy footwork in this game that that i have shown all these clips and it and you still think that it actually like functions well and Honestly, I guess if if you think it like makes it even more OP, I don't know. Then this this got to be the most broken function in the game, <laughs> getting these like hop dunks to to work every single time. But anyway, so I think the next few the next few ones I get right here are just regular dunks because he's playing me so high as a as a whole big man. So I just get these like little blow bys right here. Again, you don't need to spam the 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 hop dunks essentially. Like you should just really do it when somebody's sitting 
somebody's not moving anywhere on you like for instance right there would have been a solid time too but he ended up uh playing up on me a little too high but if they're sitting around where the dashed lines are it's perfect time to do a hop dunk now right here is where I'll explain this too. Um, apologize again for all the. I need to stop that too. I know a lot of people tell me they like the rewinds and stuff, but anyway. So I'm doing the triple threat. Boom, get him reeling. Now he's on my. Now he's on my back. Now I know his thought is he's gonna go up for a chase down block, right? And I'm sure everybody would think that. I'm sure you're thinking that too. There's no way you're just gonna run me down and like and be able to block a dunk if you just literally wait till I get to the paint. So anyway, long story short, he jumps and now I'm wide open. Now, now he can't he can't jump again in time. Now maybe that's what Pogo Stick is good for. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I've been saying Pogo is an underrated badge for for like months now at this point. But anyway, I don't think there's too many more hop dunks in this. I think it's this one right here. Yep. And as you can see, he thought I was gonna dunk on him again. So there's really no good function of guarding this other than literally just sit in the paint and hold up on the right stick and hope for the best. But because if you jump at all, then I mean, I'm dunking it <laughs> if I do the if I do the hop dunk. Because if you jump while I do that, I'm wide open on the on the like hop dunk itself. So anyway, he blocks me. I you guys gotta check the video out from yesterday. This dude it goes insane on like <laughs> on this interior defense. <laughs> Look at this. He got I got dudes airballing, standing layups as a big man. But anyway, um, I get blocked again, make him miss. This is this is what I was talking about. I I just feel like I might as may as well have made some some cuts and like you know fast forwards in this. But I don't know how to be like really hands on when I do the when I do like actual cuts like trust me I can cut clips up and stuff but I don't know how I can like pause and like rewind and commentate all of it at the same time but anyway that's I'm pretty sure that's the last hop dunk I get in the game um I'll just I'll just kind of do the outro right now and just wrap it up if you guys enjoyed the video feel free to drop a like sub if you're new I lied there is one more <laughs> okay that's the last one if you're new feel free to drop a like sub sub all that good stuff turn on the noties um, feel free to check out the other content as well. I mean, I made a mixtape on my main player. Bro, you guys gotta peep that if you're new. But, anyway. I mean, you can see, I went 11 for 13. The one, the one shot I missed was a jump shot, and then the other was, like, a, uh, a driving layup, I believe, or something like that, where I didn't do the hop. But, anyway, I don't think I've missed very much at all while doing hop dunks. Like, <laughs> I truly don't think I've missed very much at all, or nonetheless got blocked at all, either. But, anyway. That's all for the vid. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Like I said, sub if you're new. All that good stuff. Turn on them noties. But other than that, hope y'all enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace.